Alex asks us, why does light take 10,000 years to get out of the sun, whereas neutrinos get out so easily? Neutrinos and photons get produced in the center of the sun via hydrogen fusion. Four protons fuse to helium, two electrons, two neutrinos, two photons, and an energy of 27 MeV gets released in this process. This energy gets carried away by the photons and the neutrinos. This fusion process happens in the center of the sun which has a huge central density, 10 times the density of gold or lead. Once the photons are produced in the center of the sun, they start heading in the direction of the surface of the sun, through the radiation zone. But also in this zone, the density is very, very big. There are 10 to the 26 protons per cubic centimeter, so the photons cannot travel through the zone easily. The photons crash into the solar material, which is mostly made out of hydrogen and helium, and the solar material, in turn, emits the extra energy in form of other photons, which head in, in random directions. So the photons get absorbed, re-emitted, absorbed, re-emitted, and travel in random directions. In total, there's a net energy flux in form of photons from the center of the sun to the surface, but the energy in form of photons takes a long time, of the order of 1,000 years, to get out of the sun, because the photons interact so often with the solar material. For neutrinos, on the other hand, the probability that neutrinos interact with the solar material is 20 orders of magnitude smaller than the cross-section for photons with the solar material. So the neutrinos get out of the sun very easily. It only takes them two seconds to escape the sun. We can make use of the fact that neutrinos um, escape the sun so easily by detecting them in huge neutrino detectors at the Earth. In this way, we can get some insights of the processes which happen in the center of the sun. So in summary, the reason why light takes so long to escape the sun is that the photons interact way more often with the solar material than, neutri than neutrinos do.